Join us on another adventure with Wild and Free. Interior Alaska. Still fall, as you can see, but we're back at it after another week has passed with new tools and supplies to try to tackle the projects that we need to complete before winter sets in. So we are going to be working on installing the duckbill anchors in this episode. And if you're not familiar with what those are, they are long anchors that you drive into the tundra and permafrost area in order to hold something in place, such as a structure like our cabin. What are we doing today? I'm gonna try and anchor it again with more stuff, more expensive stuff. Bigger, more expensive. How much stuff? Yeah, metric fuck ton. Yeah, uh, that sums yeah. it up. <laughs> so the biggest dilemma is where do you start pounding this in? Yeah. Me neither. Trial and error. I don't think we can really trial. Well, I don't think we're getting it out once we get it in. But. <laughs> yeah, and we we need yeah. these. That's why I like them. Really so, um, so the idea behind this is that these will go in at a certain angle, and there'll be tension, and he'll drive them in with that big rod, and then we'll tighten the turn buckles to make it tight, and then it won't move. That's it. That's all we got to do. And now we figure that out. And then we do it five more times. So how hard could it be? A great job. Beating the earth. This is the spot. All eyes on you. Doing a great job. you remove the earth there you go i pound it in and we're done all right that's all we gotta do yep gotta go a little further up now don't you there you go well we can tighten the turnbuckle right yeah. that's the point we don't want to go so i don't know i really don't know do we want to go so it's tight to begin with or do we want to go well i think when you drive it down tight it loosen that the hair. begins with yeah so that way you have more to tighten down here in case you gotta do it later on yeah so what angle, what's the angle that you, that you want that thing driven in? Like that? I think that's pretty or close. Or do you want? It? Yeah, probably. That then need... it's pulling that way and you got all the surface area. Right about like that, about 45 in it, yeah. All right, and then, and then you just, you know, pound it in. Just bang it. And that's what we're going to do. Wow. <laughs> you want to set it up just a hair higher? Or not. Um, like that, like that, or do you want it down where it was? Yeah. Look at you go. It's hammer time. Yeah. Yeah. You got it down your two feet? Yeah. Piece of cake, wasn't it? Well, I was going to say, can you go further? We want to go as far as possible, right? Yeah. <clears throat> You're great. Yeah. There, <clears throat> Proud of you guys. You're welcome for our service. Yeah. Mer, You're doing the next one. Oh. <laughs> women power. Oh, We're an equal opportunity employer. I'm going to oh. tighten them super tight so we get <clears throat> probably all of them yeah. there to draw the tension stuff. Yeah, that's what I would do too. All right, I'll see you. We're real on this one? All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Women power. Watch Where do we think it's going to be? Here? If you can get that out. Oh, oh you gotta clear, yeah, they got to clear the soil and everything else too. Okay, I'm turning it up here. And then we're going to like drop our little beads here over here. Somewhere in that area. You're going to be a little further close because see. you got the turnbuckle in there. Yeah, I know. Okay. I think I kind of backed for it. Look at that one. Becky over there hoeing. Yeah. <laughs> Who did it better? Cameron <laughs> or Becky? I got my personal preferences. 
<laughs> That's the question, isn't it? <laughs> she has to ask. That's not good. <laughs> That's I don't care who you are. I got a bag that says Ho and Ain't Easy. And Katie's like, Mom! She was super embarrassed. She bought that bag. After digging the hole, we had to attach the duck bill to the turnbuckles and get those tightened and in place and secured so that we could set the duck bill where we needed it. Get it right behind the rack. It'll really there you go. Look at that. She needs to get her hands dirty. Mm -hmm. Get in there nice and deep like. Angle it down, first. Cassie. <laughs> Angle it back towards the port. There you go. It's just her hands. I shall trust her. you. <laughs> she doesn't need those to type or anything. She Don't make her, her laugh too much. What do we say? Oh yeah, it's hammer time. Except girl power this time. Watch us go. We can do. The intent of the duckbill anchors is to drive it into the ground and attach it to the cabin so that the cabin cannot slide downhill or shift. Halfway down. Look at that! Huh? <laughs> 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 get it hammering. <laughs> when we get this done, we can go four-wheeling. Find some spruce chickens. Finding the right angle for the duckbill to go into the ground and ensuring that there is tension from the beginning with the cable is really important. Although we have the turnbuckles, the turnbuckles are for adjusting it over time as it shifts. We want to allow the turnbuckles to be able to fully adjust and tighten later on. I'm saying if we start here and then angle it, it'll pull that slack out, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully. So if we start going down, and then pull it that way, we'll it should pull the slack. Right? In theory. He's driving in the bush. Kind of work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Keys. Uh, yeah. You're going to get them? Yeah. Oh, okay. So if we go in straight and then angle it, it's pulling that better. Yeah. 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 All right. Because we haven't even started turning that. No, no. That's good and tight. Yeah. Hey, by the time we get all done with this, we'll know the way to be doing it right. <laughs> we can go back and start, start again. I think we're going to go for a ride. <laughs> you can show me the swamp donkeys you found. Hey, this is just part one of today's project. Oh, what's part two? The wall. Well, they go for a ride. Yeah, no, only I... so many things. No, I know. We added six total duck bill anchors around the cabin to hold it in place. We got all of the duck bill anchors in. So now it's anchored to the upper side of the um, area, this hill. And then these ones are coming this direction to, in theory, hold it so it doesn't slide down the hill with the melting permafrost as an added measure of security and stability. Kind of gets in the way when you're trying to walk around it, so we're going to have to clear out another walking path, but I'd rather be safe than sorry for all of our hard work. So they're anchored in, turnbuckles are tight with room to continue to adjust. Uh, they're down pretty far, two to three plus feet. So Derek's over there. Occasionally missing and occasionally hitting. Good job.
Thanks for joining us. Give us a like and subscribe and follow for our next adventures on Wild and Free Interior Alaska.